Greetings KLA leaders and welcome back from our mid-year break, also known as our February break. I hope you all took the time to not only relax and chill, but to also look back and acknowledge your hard work and success. But now that we've returned, do you know what is right around the corner? Well, our first semester two six week grading period is. And with that comes our first grades for semester two. Wow, time flies by really quick. But wait, let's take a brief moment to reflect on our accomplishments and progress from semester one. What went well in semester one? What and possibly who helped you succeed during semester one? What did you do in semester one that helped you set up for success? Now that you've started to come up with answers to these questions, take all of those positive thoughts and reflections that are currently going through your mind and apply them to where you are mentally standing right now. Always make sure to keep close and use any tools that help you positively in any situation, or you never know if you'll need them again today, tomorrow, in a week, a month, and or etc. Anyhow, the whole point I'm trying to communicate is that just because we return from our break, and in fact, we have another upcoming break in just a few weeks, doesn't mean we should start to slack off or even start procrastinating. Think of these upcoming weeks as a credit earner for our reward at the end of the tunnel, which in this case would be another break. Make sure to keep on hitting those classes hard, turning in your assignments on time to get full credit, and most importantly, make sure you're coming to class every day ready and prepared to learn. Your attitude, hard work, and determination determines your future and tomorrow. Also, if you meet yourself with something unpleasant or that you don't like, try to change it. And if you can't, try to change yourself. This includes changing your ways of doing something, your perspective of doing something, and your ways of solving something. Doing all of this will assure your success from now on and many years to come. Come on, KLA leaders, you all got the potential. Once again, my name is Julian, and I'll catch you next time on The Daily Cougar. Hey, KLA leaders, how was February break? In today's segment, I will be continuing to ride that kindness train and talk about random acts of kindness. In the last segment about the Great Kindness Challenge, we talked about what kindness meant and what can we do to participate in the Great Kindness Challenge. We are back from the mid-year break and will continue on with the challenge throughout the rest of February. Remember, showing acts of kindness should be normalized in everyday life. Since we are going to keep up with the challenge throughout the month, let's continue to practice being kind on a day-to-day -day basis. Some random acts of kindness can be giving a friend or family member a compliment or saying thank you to someone. Challenge yourself to do as many acts of kindness as possible because you never know how someone's day is going. Showing kindness matters each and every day and believe me, both of you and the individual you are being kind to will feel great about it afterwards. Remember, this quote when it comes to being kind each and every day, we rise by lifting others. My name is Tatiana and see you next time on The Daily Cougar. Hello Kayla leaders. As you know, February is known for Black History Month and as we come to an end, let's not forget those influential African Americans that paved the way for African Americans to continue to influence today. The purpose of Black History Month is to remind people what African Americans went through and the people who helped African Americans have the same equal rights. A person who is famous in Black history is Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. is a huge reason African Americans are treated equal today. Back then, African Americans weren't allowed to do the simplest of things even after slavery, they were being treated as a lower class of humans. Martin Luther King Jr. had an opinion on those, on these laws and decided to give a famous speech. His I Have a Dream speech inspired a lot of people. 
He helped African Americans live with equal rights. James Baldwin is also an influential person in black history. He wrote many essays talking about race. In his books, he talked about his experiences as an African American and made strong arguments on why African Americans should not be treated unfairly. His books impacted the world in a positive way and he influenced a lot of people. He explained the problems going on in the world and how they needed to be solved. One of his most popular books, which is called Notes of a Native's Son, was published the same year Martin Luther King gave a speech. James Baldwin is a, also a huge part of African Americans earning equal rights. Harriet Tubman is another influential person in black history. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery. After she escaped, she wanted to help free other slaves. Harriet Tubman used the Underground Railroad for 10 years and saved more than 300 slaves. Harriet Tubman did her best to free as many slaves as possible, which will never be forgotten. My name is Tatiana, and see you next time on The Daily Cougar. Hi, I'm Alex. I'd like to start off by thanking Tatiana for that great report on past African-American leaders who spoke up and took action. Today, I'm going to talk about present African-American leaders who are shaping history today. Starting off with Camilla Harris, the first African-American female vice president. On January 20th, Camilla Harris was sworn in as vice president of the United States of America. Harris was born in Oakland, California to an Indian mother and Jamaican father. Camilla Harris was inspired by the courage her parents had and the sacrifices they made in order to give Camilla a better life. Nicholas Johnson, Princeton's first African-American valedictorian. In May of 2020, Nicholas Johnson was announced as Princeton's first African-American valedictorian in the school's 275-year history. Nicholas graduated from Princeton in the spring of 2020 and is now working towards doctorate in operations research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Dana Kennedy, the first African-American woman to head a major publishing imprint. Dana Kennedy is the head of Simon & Schuster Trade Imprint. She also became the first woman, person of color, and youngest administrator of the Pulitzer Prizes. Before that, she was a reporter for the New York Times and even won a Pulitzer Prize herself back in 2001. Hey KLA leaders, I'm Itzel and today I'm going to be talking about February's Cougar Spotlight. February's Cougar Spotlight goes to Ms. Balmain and Mohamed al Karki. Ms. Balmain and Mohamed al Karki were chosen for this month's Cougar Spotlight because of their talent. As some of you may know, Ms. Balmain and Mohamed are journalists. Ms. Balmain's most popular, popular article she has written was Monks Who Came to San Diego to Get New Prosthetic Legs. Now her favorite book is Ricky Henderson play for an independent baseball team. Something that inspired Ms. Balmain, Ms. Balmain to be a journalist is to just tell stories that she thinks are cool or just learn about other people they wouldn't normally meet or think about. Ms. Balmain has been writing since she got kicked out of her high school newspaper. Now, Mohammed's most, pe- most popular article was KLA reopening. His Favorite article was also KLA reopening because he got to take quotes from teachers and implement them into his article. Something that inspired him to start writing like a journalist was Free Press, like Los Angeles Free Press. He has only been writing since 2020, but hopefully he is able to write more in the future. I'm Itzel, and thank you for watching The Daily Cougar. Hey, all you KLA leaders. Guess what's happening next week? It involves books, reading, and of course, Dr. Seuss. If you haven't figured it out yet, it's Read Across America Week. What does that mean exactly? Well, a spirit would, of course. Make sure to check out what the days are going to be in next week's bulletin. Read Across America Week is not only a time we should read books independently, independently, or go or to others but gives us a chance to celebrate how important reading is to everyone of all ages. It gives us a chance to read to our younger siblings, nieces and nephews, little cousins, or gives our teachers a chance to read a book 
allowed to us during a Google Meet. How fun would that be to go back to our younger days with a read aloud? Let's all celebrate next week by participating in each of the Spirit Week activities, as well as reading a book to ourselves and others. Don't have a book? You can always go on Amplify Library and read one off of there. See you next time on The Daily Cougar.